We're here at the American Canadian Genealogical Society in Manchester for a very, very special event. It's the dedication of a very special mural uh, depicting um, Champlain when he arrived in North America and uh, we will be interviewing uh, or finding out more about it from the uh, executive director of the Historical Society here in Manchester. We're here at the uh, uh, American Canadian Genealogical Society in Manchester with Aurora Eaton, mm -hmm. and she's the executive director of the Manchester Historical Association, and she's going to tell us about this very special mural that we are dedicating tonight. Aurora? Thank you very much. Uh, well, we're very thrilled to be here at the ACGS, American Canadian Genealogical Society. I'm a member here, though I have not been able to do my genealogy in a long time, and when I have time, I will come back in this wonderful library. But we have a beautiful mural that was commissioned by St. Mary's Bank in 1969. It was designed by the architect of its building that was being constructed at that time, and his name was Sherman H. Jones. And we're not sure who the artist was who actually carried it out, who actually carried out the project, but it's quite an interesting project. And if you, when you do see the mural later, you'll see that it looks like it's carved out of wood, but it's actually made out of fiberglass, shaped fiberglass, and it's really nicely done to make it look like wood. But uh, would you like me to tell you the story of sure. how we, how we got to have it here in this building? Well, St. Mary's Bank was uh, constructing a new building this year, and they needed to figure out what to do with the mural because there was no place for the mural in the new building. And we had a lot of conversations about this, and they mentioned about perhaps donating it to our organization, but we didn't have a place to display it, and we really didn't think it should be in storage where nobody could see it. And then we spoke with ACGS, talked to Jerry Savard and other people here, and they said, oh, maybe. And we came over here and measured some spaces, and, and they were thrilled to be able to take to take this so so it was actually donated to the historic association in Manchester and we are having an on loan on long term loan here to ACGS and it's very much appreciated and it looks like it's found a home here yes. it looks the wall is perfect for it so thank you so thank much you. Here's Jerry Savard, he's the president of the ACGS and on this very special occasion. And Jerry, tell us all about this here. How do you feel about this? Oh, we're uh, excited, we're excited. It's a lot of good publicity for us. And obviously, it's, you know, it's a fantastic home for this mural. Uh, it see, looks like it belongs here, like it, it always like, did. Exactly, it looks like the building's been waiting 40 years for it to come home to it. Uh, when St. Mary's was looking for a home for it, uh, yeah, you know, we measured out walls and everything else, and this is a perfect spot. And I understand that they paid to have it installed they and the whole thing, yeah. Uh, Jutra's uh, sign company uh, did all the moving and the installation. Did a fantastic job, very professional uh, group. So, and anyway, we're happy to have, a, have it in this new home. Okay, well, thank you, Jerry. You're welcome, thank you. I'm here with uh, Rich Gerard, who is very active in the Fra uh, Franco-American community. As a matter of fact, he's a former board member of the Franco-American Center here in Manchester and is also a member of the American Canadian Genealogical Society. And uh, Rich, how do you feel about this evening? Oh, I, I think it's a great, uh, a great evening for the Franco-American community. There were uh, a lot of people who were concerned that this mural would be lost because St. Mary's didn't uh, have room for it in their new building. And the fact that Aurora Eaton, a former executive director of the Franco-American Center, I believe, uh, and ACGS were able to make arrangements for it. So, and of course, St. Mary's Bank did what they could to facilitate its uh, removal and replacement. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a good way to preserve um, and w what mysteriously became a, a, a cultural icon for the Franco community here in the Manchester area. Right, and it looks like it's it belongs here, like the building was built for it. Well, I have to admit, it does fit in there rather nicely, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Thank you, Rich, for joining us this evening. We're thrilled to have you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the, uh, the, the interview. Thank you. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. This is a really wonderful event. I am very, myself, very pleased because it's, it's a long road uh, to bring 
this mural here to the ACGS. My name is Aurora Eaton. I'm the executive director of the Manchester Historic Association. And the famous St. Mary's Bank mural and Saint, La Caisse Populaire de Saint Marie. What's the word for mural in French? Mural. 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 <laughs> mural. mural. Somebody here must know. Has, has a new and long term home, and you can get up and close and, and personal with it. And I just want to make tell you a couple tiny things about the mural. We do have a handout on the table back there. Please take that, which has information that the bank put together. But it's actually uh, somebody who hasn't read that. Does anybody have a guess as to what it's made out of besides the wooden frame? Any guesses? It's made out of fiberglass. I mean, it looks like carved wood, but it's, it's made out of fiberglass, which is really interesting. And it depicts Samuel, Samuel de Champlain encountering a group of Indians in 1605 on the coast of New Hampshire at Odeorn Point. And they all look happy to see him, and they're trading. And on this side are some early European settlers in New Hampshire around 1719. And these are probably Scots-Irish. Any Scots-Irish people here? Irish? <laughs> yes, there are Scots-Irish here. There are plenty of Scots-Irish around here. And uh, I just want to mention also on the table we do have some materials from the Historic Association if you wanted, wanted to take a look at that. Because my job is just to start things off and I'm going to turn it over right now to Ron Covey, President of St. Mary's Bank. And afterwards you'll hear from Matt Kafori, who's the President of the Manchester Historic Association and Jerry Savard, President of ACGS. Thank you very much. And I'll, before I stop, I want to thank Jane Bolio for her wonderful food, and I want to thank St. Mary's Bank for sponsoring the catering and the drinks this evening. And, and also, the soft drinks were donated by Coca-Cola of Bottling Company of New Hampshire, so I want to thank them too. Thank you. Aurora, thank you, and, and, and thank you for mentioning Jean. I, I'll tell you, I, I, I love pork pie. I haven't had a good torque in a long time, and that was fabulous tonight. So Jean did a great job on, on that, uh, wherever she is, uh, thank you. Uh, it, it is really my pleasure to be here tonight and to see this finally back up uh, at a home where it belongs. Uh, we, we really struggled uh, when we decided to build a new building and what we were, we looked around at, our, at the interior of our existing building, what we were going to take, what we were not going to take, and what would fit and where would it would fit. And I'll tell you, the, the most comments we received from our members was not anything about the building, it was what are we going to do with the mural. They could care less the building got torn down. <laughs> they wanted to know where the mural was going and where they could go see it and how we would display it. And so that was one of our number one priorities when we decided to, when we started about a year in advance before we built the building, uh, what we were going to do with this mural. The mural was originally designed, uh, the board of directors at the time when the building was built in 1969, uh, had a little bit of money left over uh, in their budget in building the building and really gave the architect of the building free reign and said, come up with something that, that and at the time the board was made up uh, primarily of, of French Canadian heritage uh, board members. And, and that's what they really gave him. They, did, they gave him no other direction other than that. He went out and he uh, did some research, and the research is over there, and, and please take some tonight uh, that we have from the original architect. And he had this design uh, to put in the building. Uh, it really does not reflect entirely St. Mary's roots, which goes back to the mill workers and everything else, but it is the, really the, the French Canadian so, uh, heritage of uh, uh, a lot of the members of St. Mary's. And so I couldn't think of a better place for this to end up than to go to the historic, Manchester Historic Society and then permanent loan here at the Canadian Geological Society. And it looks like it was just built for this wall. It is an absolutely yeah. perfect spot, isn't it? So I want to thank uh, Aurora for uh, helping us with this and accepting the gift and certainly Jerry and the Geological Society for, for just finding a perfect spot for it and uh, opening it up to the public so we can enjoy it continuously uh, every day going forward. And thank you very much. Good evening. I'm uh, Matt Capori, President of Central Paper um, and current President of the Historic Association here in Manchester. And, uh, and we'd like to thank, obviously, Ron. Um, and then Liz and Tom who are here who are I think instrumental in, in making the transition of, of this happen. Um, 
and then also to Jerry and uh, and your team for for having the mural here. Uh, it's it's new home is is uh, a great place. I think it, you just said it wrong. It fits the wall almost perfectly. Um, uh, you know, I'd be remiss to, to say that uh, as a lifelong Manchester resident um, in, in, you know, been in St. Mary's Bank many times and seen the mural there, uh, it, it's definitely a, a fitting new place to be and to keep our history uh, alive as well because um, at the end of the day, we don't want to lose that. We don't want to lose the connections that we have. Um, the MHA plays a, a very important role in transcending Manchester's history through time, and our mission is to protect, preserve, and share the history with the community. Um, this, the, the mural is a perfect example of our history. It's an indicative of where we've been, where we're going, um, and it helps us guide to the future. History is the fabric that, that ties us all together from generation to generation, um, and it connects, it connects one to another. And, uh, it's it's extremely important, I think, as our you know our roots of the of the city, um, and as we grow as a city, and the, the city has changed. Clara Monier and I were saying how how different the West Side is now from even when I was a child, right? It's it's completely changed, but that's what history is all about. As we move forward, step by step, we we grow, we leave our mark, we we make our mark and then we pass the torch on to the next generation. And, uh, and hopefully um, the next generation will, will you know, bear the fruits that, that we've, we've brought forward too. So uh, on behalf of the Historic Association, I, I, I'd love, you know, if you ever get a chance, if you haven't been to the Mill Yard Museum, come on down, visit. Um, we've got a great facility down there. This is the first time I've been in this building and i absolutely amazed at, uh, um, at the quality of, of all the, the information and the technology that's in the back. And um, uh, I think if you've been to our research center too, it's a class, class facility and we're lucky to have a lot of them in Manchester. So uh, on behalf of the Historic Association, I wanted to thank everybody here for, for keeping, our, uh, keeping good care of our mural and, and, uh, and keeping it here for the future. Thanks. Jerry Savad, I, I'm president of the ACGS, and I want to thank everybody for coming. I want to take, thank Jane Bullier for the fantastic meal, and especially uh, Ron Covey, the president of St. Mary's Bank, uh, for thinking of us when they were looking for a home for the mural. Uh, Matt uh, Kafuri, obviously. Uh, Aurora or Eaton, I think, was very instrumental in thinking of us. Uh, you know, she's been here before and uh, uh, probably figured, wow, that, that would be a good place. You know, where we're trying to maintain the French-Canadian heritage of Manchester and New Hampshire and the area. And what, what better way than to share something like this. Uh, we, we have quite a few members uh, who also belong to St. Mary's Bank and they walk in and they uh, they look at and they, you know, a big smile on their face. They're, they're happy to see that it has a new home. Uh, Tom Champagne and uh, Liz Dodalski, uh, who also set the wheels in motion, thank you very much. Jeff Barakoff, who's uh, not here tonight, but uh, he helped coordinate the move and whatever. And uh, Jutra Signs, uh, I mean, they did a fantastic job of uh, taking the sign down, getting it through our front door over here putting it back up on the wall. And uh, th those guys are great. I mean, I, I have trouble hanging at an eight and a half by uh, 11 picture <laughs> straight. And yeah, these guys did it. <laughs> if that was me, it would be kind of, well, forget it. <laughs> uh, so it, it was kind of a pleasure to see him uh, work. And uh, as a side note, it was kind of, kind of neat because uh, uh, the owners of uh, Jutra Signs, they're French-Canadian descendants, so uh, uh, we kind of took advantage of the situation and did their, uh, their genealogy, <laughs> you know, which, which they were happy to do. And uh, uh, hint, uh, anybody that wants to do their genealogy, <laughs> we, 
we're here. We're probably one of the best kept secrets in Manchester, uh, unfortunately. And we're really, really trying to uh, uh, to solve that problem. You know, we have a much better uh, uh, communication now with Facebook and newsletters uh, through the email and what have you. Uh, so tell your friends about us. Uh, come visit us. And you know, again, we really appreciate uh, having this mural here. When the uh, opportunity came up, everybody was thrilled. It was probably the shortest decision that the uh, board of directors made as to whether we wanted it or not. And, you know, they were did it have to be stored, or did it come straight from the bank? It the came bank? straight from the bank. Okay. Yeah. So that would have been a heck of a place to store something. Yeah. <laughs> so it worked out real well. They. Uh, they needed to disassemble it, and we cleared out the wall, and uh, we were more than happy to have it come in the front door. And we hope it uh, finds a home here for a long time. So again, thank you very much, and uh, feel free to look around and make yourself comfortable, walk around, and thank you very much. The Champlain mural from St. Mary's Bank, the inscription itself is actually written or carved in French. For those that don't understand or can't read French, the English translation is as follows. In July 1605, the explorer Francis Samuel de Champlain was the first European to debark on the land of New Hampshire. With the offering of trinkets, he made numerous friends amongst the Indians. Later, Champlain discovered the Merrimack River and in 1719, the first villages were established on the banks of that river. The second village was established at Amiskeag Falls, now the site of Manchester. <laughs>